Is it? It's not. It's not a nasiha like this. Right. So this is how we certify the situation. Six seven zero, please. Tadal. Hadith six seven zero. Abdullah bin Masood radhiallahu an reported, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "There will be discrimination after my death, and there will be other matters that you will disapprove." He was asked, O Messenger of Allah, what do you command us to do when we are encountered with such happenings? He answered, give what is due from you and supplicate to Allah for your rights. Allahu Akbar. I like that word discrimination, athara, which is correct translation. I like that one. Discrimination. This imam discriminates. This leader is discriminating. Giving all the jobs to his family. And all his family are in the top uh, critical jobs and the ones who are taking the most of the salaries and yet us are taking the peanuts. <coughs> what should we do? Uh, put him down. Like what they did Uthman radiallahu anhu. So they thought, what happened? Big fitna. They killed Uthman basically because they believed that he was giving discrimination. And because some of those people used to say things against, you know, because of the people sat against, saying against the leader. Subhanallah. One uh, of the companions, he had said, after Uthman radiallahu an, I would never speak anything regarding the Imam. He said, what did he say? <coughs> he said <coughs> something that would have triggered the people to provoke them and to have them hatred towards Uthman. He said something like, this is not correct, this is not right. Okay, so if you have seen a person calling and supplicating to the Imam, he is from the Salafi Manaj. <coughs> and if you've seen a person who's on top of the pulpit, Allahumma khudhu, akhda aziz al muqtadar, kill him. This Imam Khalifa had, this Imam, this leader, this king, this president, he is a tyrant. Look what he had done. Look at this, this. This is the person of Ahl al-Bidah. Regardless of how people been tantalized by him because they like him, he only said, look how courageous he is, he's speaking ill against the Imam. No, the Imam is not supposed to be spoken like this. So if you are a person who's in charge of a masjid or something like this, if you are a people of sunnah, you don't say anything towards the Imam. One day, a person who was in the Salaf Salah, they were looking at a person who was doing a khutbah and he's a leader. Usually at that time, the leaders will give the khutbah. So one person from the committee who was sitting down, he said, look, he's got the libas and munafiqeen. Look at the hypocrite clothes he's got. You know, posh clothes and all that. Hypocrite clothes. So he said to him, that person who is from the Sahaba, that this is what the Prophet ﷺ warned us against. And that is to provoke the people against their khalifa and their imam. Khwani, it's very important not, not to belittle the Imam. We have a story between Hisham ibn Hakim and uh, uh, Iyad ibn Ghun, radiyallahu anhuma. Both are companions. Iyad ibn Ghun, he was a mayor. He was like a, khali, a sub-khalifa, being presented by the khalifa. And he went to a place called Dara. And that sub-leader of his, which he's appointed him, he did something wrong. What he did, he had lashed him. Jaladahu. Hisham ibn Hakim told him off. So as a companion, telling off Ayad ibn Ghun, a companion, in front of that person who's been lashed, in front of other people as well. Ayad ibn Ghun was so upset, and he did not talk to him. So Hisham ibn Hakim decided to go to him and to talk to him to break the iceberg, you know, it's been three days now. So he went there and he said to him, I believe that you are upset from me because I told you off. Because you see, I told you off, I've heard the Prophet ﷺ saying, Prophet of Allah, he said, the one who punishes the people in dunya the most, he will get the most punishment in the hereafter. So Iyad ibn Ghun, he said, Verily, we had heard whom you had heard, and we have accompanied whom you have accompanied. We have seen whom you have seen. It means the Prophet of Allah. If you are a companion, I'm a companion. But didn't you hear the Prophet Sallam? He said, Man arada an yansaha li sultan ikhwani. This hadith is authentic. Don't you ever believe or listen to any person who is not authentic. This is 100% authentic. 
Man arada an yansaha li di sultan. He who wants to advise for a person who is in sultan, a person who is in a position of a leadership. Qal fal yusirra lah. Let him talk to him secretly, not openly. Wala yubdi lahu alaniya. And even more emphasis, and not to do that openly and in front of everybody. So, on your own with him, nobody's there except for him, or except for a person whom he wants him to be with him, okay, his close guard, for example, just to him, and do not speak openly. Then he said to him, فَإِنْ أَخَذَ بِهِ If he had accepted his advice, Alhamdulillah, فَلْيَحْمَدِلَّهِ Alhamdulillah. If he did not, قَعَدْ أَدَّ الْحَقَّ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ He had fulfilled the right which is upon him, that is to advise. أَلَا تَخْشَى يَا هِشَامِ Then he said to him, Aren't you scared, O Hisham, that the Sultan will kill you, and then you will be labeled the one who is being killed by the Sultan of Allah. Because this Sultan, regardless of the way that he took his leadership, even by a coup, is called the Sultan of Allah. And he took the leadership. Even he killed it by, by killing somebody, and he took the authority, and he's there, we have to submit to him. And we're not allowing anybody else to go to do that to him as well. So he had taken it, the way he took it, it doesn't matter whether he took it by election, or by appointing, or by a revolution, or by, he took the leadership. We don't contend with him. So he said, that this is the Sultan of Allah, regardless of, so if you are being Challenge that sultan. And that sultan, that leader killed you. You're going to be labeled the one who's been killed by the sultan of Allah. And that is going to be a shameful act of death. Did you pray, Ikhwan? Yes, the Hitl Masjid? No. You have to pray to it. I can't be fully sometimes. Jazakumullah khair. Ahsanallahu alaykum. Hadith 671.